It's my great pleasure to talk in this symposium, Qubit 2.5. Um, I, so uh, I want to thank the organizers for giving an opportunity to talk in this symposium. Okay. So uh, um, I come from Japan and I belong to um, um, Central Pharmaceutical Research Institute of JT. Um, we have just finished the um, project as a collaboration with the D-Wave um, teams, um, professional service team and the development, development team. Um, in that project, we uh, developed a hybrid quantum classical um, computation system and um, obtained an uh, interesting achie uh, achievement. And so uh, um, I would like to share the um, some aspect of our data, but um, unfortunately, I'm sorry that the, uh, our data is um, a little bit technical, and so I focus, I, wa I want to focus on the um, substantial aspect of our data. Um, JT has uh, three divisions. I belong to um, a pharmaceutical division, and previously, um, we have brought um, some novel uh, new um, pharmaceutical drugs, as shown here. And so, um, as you know, um, drug design work is very, very time consuming. And so uh, we are very proud of this uh, achievement. Okay, uh, this is the, our strategy for drug design. Um, first, uh, we are focused on the uh, small molecule uh, because great advantages are there, uh, such as orally available, well membrane permeability, uh, relatively in in inexpensive compared to other pharmaceutical modalities. Second, uh, we aim to develop innovative first in class uh, pharmaceutical drugs. Um, for this purpose, we need the um, technologies, advanced AI technologies, uh, com uh, quantum computation technologies, and something like that. Um, still, uh, as you know, the um, drug design works is very, very time consuming. Long, long, long journey. Um, and also uh, success rate is very, very lower. So, in that meaning, uh, we need the um, technologies. Um, what is the reason of such an uh, aspect? Um, we have to, uh, we need to optimize many, many molecular properties in the drug design works. These are uh, examples of such uh, molecular properties. Um, for example, A, D, M, E, and toxicity. As the total, we, uh, I refer to these molecular property as ADMET. Okay. Um, more concretely speaking, uh, these are molecular pr properties to be uh, optimized in the drug design work. Um, when we, uh, when we um, optimize single property, and then some other properties were become uh, worse. And so simultaneous optimization of various many molecular pro properties are required. Um, and so the, um, this is a reason why the drug design is very time consuming. Okay, so we need uh, technologies such as the advanced AI. And this is an example of generative AI model. Um, we uh, um, the, uh, input data is put into the encoder and then processed. Then uh, finally, we obtain the um, output. Here, in the training phase, output should be trained so as to be identical to the input data. So output in the VAE, uh, output and input should be almost identical. Um, I, I think you feel strange. 
Um, the, important is, the important part is the central part. Uh, this is feature space or latent space. In this uh, part, um, we extract the um, characteristic feature found in the uh, input data set. Okay, so this is the most important. In this feature space, stu uh, some stochastic distributions are embedded and in incremented. So in the generation phase, next phase, we can generate the data from the stochastic distributions. Stochastic distributions are dice, so we can roll the dice, and then we can generate the data. In this case, new compounds. So using uh, this, uh, we would like to um, generate the new compound, pharmaceutical uh, compound candidates. Okay, this is a generative AI system. Um, in particular, VIE could be a um, platform to add other um, technologies, algorithms, theories. Okay, um, this is the most important, as I mentioned. So, we wanted to extend the uh, power and performance of this feature space. Actually, um, the way people try to do it, um, they um, try to um, involve the quantum annealing computer to this feature space. Um, Dr. Amin's team um, developed a new theory for this purpose. Um, it is an excellent work. To include the quantum annealing computer, they adopted a restricted Boltzmann machine too in their theory. Um, you can remind the Nobel Prize um, originally, uh, restrictive Boltzmann machine, RBM, was developed by Professor Hinton. Anyway, um, Dr. Amin's team developed a new feature to uh, make the uh, quantum annealing computer involved in the future space. Okay, let's go back to the uh, drug design work. Uh, we need to um, optimize many, many parameters uh, of the compounds, and so the, uh, we need to um, analyze the very, very huge uh, space, uh, very, very huge compound world. Then we um, need to transfer, transfer this huge space to the um, feature space inside of the AI systems. So then the, in the training phase, uh, we uh, explore and identify the um, lower energy state. Lower energy state is corresponding to the uh, more appropriate drug likeness. So uh, we wanna uh, identify the lower energy state. But when we use the uh, classical computation, the exploration is very uh, restricted. A very, uh, we can just only explore the limited, restricted space. So we can identify just only the local minima. This is the um, uh, very serious um, issue, problem in the current AI technologies. Then, um, so uh, we wanted to include, uh, involve the um, quantum annealing computer. When we use the, if we would use the uh, quantum annealing computer, we, we could explore a much more huge space. And then um, we can um, approach toward the global minima. Not exactly the uh, global minima, but we can access toward the global minima. It's very uh, important to solve the um, issues, problems, um, found in the current AI technologies. Okay, um, I will uh, show you two previous um, works. Both are very excellent. Uh, this is the first one. Um, they use the uh, quantum uh, VAE, as I uh, mentioned before. And also, in addition, uh, they uh, use the transformer this is uh, one of the large language model, LLM. Um, you can see transformer. You use the ChatGPT, ChatGPT4, 
the last t is represented. Uh, last t represents the transformer. Okay, uh, so they combine the quantum VAE with the uh, large language model. Okay, in the um, training phase, uh, when they uh, use the classical computation, the error was converged something like this. Very um, good. But when they, use, when they use the quantum annealing computer, the error was not converged. So, sorry, uh, the uh, difference are very large. The large errors are left, were left. Okay? Then, um, shall we uh, compare the generated distributions between the uh, classical computation and the quantum computation? Okay, to evaluate the um, distributions obtained, um, we use the QED score to evaluate the drug likeness. Uh, this is a standard way um, because the, um, to define the drug likeness is a little bit difficult, so uh, we use the QED score as um, proposed in this paper. In QED score, uh, six, eight molecular properties were, are used. And some, some are related to the uh, chemical structure of each compound, and others are related to the um, um, admet, as I mentioned before. Okay. So using QED score, uh, shall we uh, evaluate the data, training data set and the generated data set? Uh, let's uh, focus on the QED score distributions. The green part is corresponding to the training data set, and psi and blue are obtained by the quantum computation, and others are obtained by the classical computation. All of them are almost the same, similar to each other. This is amazing. Please remember, quantum annealing computer, when they use the quantum computation, the error was not converged. Nevertheless, the um, uh, generated data uh, were almost the same as the other data set, in particular training data set. Okay? I uh, felt uh, that this is the power of quantum annealing computation. Okay. This is the second uh, report. Uh, performed by the Cornell group. They also use the um, similar architecture. Um, this is the uh, quantum RBM, restricted Boltzmann machine. Um, they uh, use the um, graph architecture, graph theory, but a fundamental architecture, architecture is almost the same. Okay, um, okay shall we um, compare the distributions? This is the training data set. Uh, when they use the classical computation, uh, the obtained generated data set distributions are very different from the training data set. They use the several input data set, and uh, just only two are uh, shown here. Okay, so uh, uh, this is the total input data, and the uh, 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 computation of the uh, total input data. So training data set and generate data set, both are almost the same. Okay, this is the current um, achievement of uh, use uh, of the uh, quantum annealing computation and coupled with AI technology. So let's go on to the, uh, our data. I will show you three distributions. One is the training data set, black line, and second, orange is the classical uh, computation, and cyan blue is the um, quantum uh, computation. Okay, first, uh, shall we de uh, compare the training data set and the classical computation? Both are almost the uh, same, similar to each other. Then, um, how was the um, quantum annealing computation? Okay, as you see, a uh, blue cyan curves uh, was uh, definitely uh, transferred and moved to the better regions. This is the uh, more appropriate region, and this is worse region in terms of the drug likeness. 
So quantum computation um, differently shifted the uh, distribution curve, something like this. So we can obtain the um, much better um, data. OK, um, please note here that uh, we have not included any uh, uh, driving factors to facilitate the drug likeness. Nevertheless, uh, QPU um, induced a trend that the generated distribution should be more appropriate as drug. This is, the, um, this is an amazing um, uh, achievement for us. To the best of our knowledge, this is the first work to have created ensembles, molecular ensembles, that um, more significantly um, facilitated more drug-like compounds, more operated as drugs than training data sets. Um, in this manner, the quantum computation could be critical to create a novel drug discovery paradigm in which the performance moves to novel stages in quality as well as speed to pioneer the first in class drug discovery. Okay, this is the story what, uh, uh, that I want to share with you. Um, this is just a five month project. But um, uh, we obtained the uh, hybrid uh, quantum and classical system. And so uh, I want to uh, thank many, many people, including D-Wave uh, people, professional service team, development team, and our colleagues. And finally, I, I want to thank the organizers uh, for your attention. Thank you very much.